the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. I, I want us to truly, truly honor Dr. Shola and his dear wife, the angels over the Liberty Church. Thank you. Amen. I like your heart. Now, let me just explain something before we sit. You see, in an atmosphere like this, it is important that we understand what God is doing. When the word of God begins to come, the spirit of God and the power of God is always found where the word of God is. The Bible says in that light is the hiding place of his power. Are we together? And I believe that a moment in God's presence can turn everything, everything around. So let your heart be opened. Do not just like Pastor Shea, thank you for the honor, the love you have for me, London. I love you too. And I love you truly. But let me tell you this. We are only vessels. And it is true. Hallelujah. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Matchless love and beauty and less worth. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Listen, the treasure of my heart and of my soul. In my weakness, you are merciful. Redeemer of my past and present wrong. Lift your hands. Holder of my future days to come. Your presence is Presence, Lord, your presence is heaven to me. Spirit of the living God, bless our hearts tonight. Reveal Jesus in the midst of your people. And we decree and declare. That as we worship you, your throne, and as we worship you, your throne, as we worship, and as we worship you, build your throne, come, Lord.
For the Lord God Almighty Come on, London. Oh, Kabala Koshali Baratos Yadabana. Are you Lord God Almighty? What is a My priority Who can compare to you Great is the measure Of your royalty O morning sun You truly are Give me you, everything else can wait. Give me you, I hope I'm not too late. Lord, give me you, Lord, give me you, Lord, give me you. Give me you, everybody. Give me you. Everything else can wait. Everything else can wait. Oh. Give me you. I hope it's not too late. Lord, give me you. Give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, like this you see the assignment of worship is to create the atmosphere for his manifest presence this is the air I breathe this is the air I breathe come on London your holy presence living in me. Let it be from the depths of your heart. You're my daily bread. This is my daily bread. This is my daily bread. Lift your hands and worship His Majesty. Your very word spoken. Yeah. Lift your hands, Shabak His Majesty. Ah, 
Shalaba la to shalaba rada siataba. And I, and The power of God is everywhere in this place. Your grace has found me just as I am. Empty handed, but alive in your hands. Sing majesty, yeah. majesty, majesty. Forever, Lord, forever. Please sit down. I want you to be sensitive to what the Holy Spirit is doing. This is our final night, and He's here to lift you to new levels in the Spirit. Wherever I am changed by your love Healed by your love Lifted by your love Forever I Change my young love in the presence of your majesty. Halakbara, you are the mighty God. Hey, Latobi Jew, you are the glorious God. Halakbara, you are the mighty God. Baba la tosiada, hey la tobi Jesus. You are the glorious God. So we are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you, for you. Come and do what you do, what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. This is the moment. I am here for you, for you. Come and do what you do. I am here for you, for you. Come and do what you do. Set my heart for you, for you, so you'll do what you do. This is a move. This is a move. This is a move. Hey, we're in a move.
I want to teach you a very simple song before I teach. One of my dear people wrote the song and it is a prophetic song. And I want you, keep playing, you're correct. Songs are ladders in the realm of the spirit. You can use them to climb into dimensions and realms. Please be sensitive because there are impartations that are happening. An impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities. The song is a prophecy and I want you to listen to it very carefully. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life is changed. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life is changed. I will never be the same. I've touched Your grace. My life is changed. I, uh, I, uh, 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 oh, oh, I, uh, I, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, come on, London, yeah, yeah, I, uh, I, uh, yeah. Prophesy to yourself. Listen, say, I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never be the same. Your life is changed. Your life is changed. My life is changed. My life is changed. This is part of the service. My life is changed. My life is changed. I I I I I Your life must change. Your life must change. Yeah. I prophesy. Your life must change. Your life must change. One more time, London. I I I I I I I your grace our lives are changing we will never be the same we've touched your grace please sit down the bible says now the lord is that spirit there are many spirits but the lord is that spirit then it says where the spirit of the Lord is you will know because there will be a signature of liberty liberty is proof that he came liberty is proof that he moved liberty is proof that he is here Life is changed. Your home is changed. 
your health is changed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray, but let me share two scriptures. Establish a mystery, and we allow the Spirit of God to have a convocation in this place tonight. For many of you, it will be that when the Lord turned your captivity, that it will be like a dream. That your mouth will be filled with laughter. Listen, this is no mere talk, believe me. This is not some motivation. This is the ministry of the Spirit. Acts chapter 26 and verse 22. Shalasko Bariata. Please bring the lady that shouts now under the anointing. Loud to the hearing of everybody. Bring her. Shelandos Calibra Acts chapter 26. The power of the Holy Spirit is here. Majesty. I'm ministering. I'm seeing 11 people. Sit down. I'm seeing a grace for speed. Listen, please sit down. Sit down. Sit down. That anointing will begin to move. Please bring them out to the aisles. I know there may not be space here. I'm teaching. But right now I stretch my hands. I declare right now by the spirit remember you came for an encounter your pastor told you that this is an encounter an encounter is an experience that makes God real manifest in the midst of his people 11 I stretch my hands I shift you by prophecy speed 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 new dimensions in the mighty name of Jesus I declare by the spirit help that lady help that lady Speed in the name of Jesus. Speed. I bring you the ministry of the Holy Spirit. New dimensions. Speed. Remember not the former things. Hear me, London. Nor consider the things of old. I came to open the two lift gates of this territory in the name of Jesus. Ephata, be open. He done, Peter. hallelujah I declare that everything that represents delay right now I'm declaring by the spirit of grace I stretch my hands over you Makatos Kelabarutiasha in the name of Jesus be free be free Every orchestration of witchcraft, every manipulation of dark powers. Hear the word of the Lord. I come with the rod of a higher priesthood and I declare, be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Hallelujah. Please sit down if you can. Spirit of the living God. It's moving people to realms. Dimensions in the spirit. Young lady, I cost that power of witchcraft. Out now, out now, out of her life.
Acts chapter 26. My God. Acts chapter 26 and verse 22. I'd like us to read it, just two scriptures. I'll share a few things and I'll begin to minister. Listen, if you came with any challenge here, be ready to wave it goodbye. Because these Egyptians you see today, believe me, I prophesy to you, you will see them no more forever. It says, therefore, can you read London? One to read. Uh-huh. Having obtained help, I continue. Listen, it takes, it takes, let's have King James, if this is King James, be sure that we use King James. Having obtained help from God, King James says, I continue. It takes help from God for a man to continue. Listen, when people remain, it is proof that God helped them. It is conventional to start. It is ordinary to start. But the staying power of a man financially, ministerially, is proof that you have obtained help from God. Scripture number 2, Psalm 18 and verse 29. Psalm 18 and verse 29. When you have it, please let me know so we read. The power of God is strong in this place. Psalm 18 and verse 29. Are you ready? This is someone's prophecy. Ready? Read. For by you, I can run against a troop. By my God, I can shift and even leap over a wall. Listen, it is only marvelous in our eyes when it is the Lord's doing. You don't celebrate me for walking. It is human to walk. But when people begin to demonstrate dimensions of results that are not affordable in the world of men, then it tells you that God is with them. Nicodemus comes to Jesus by night. And then he says, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God. For no man can do this except God be with him. Hallelujah. Please sit down. Don't worry about those who are out here. There is a reason why I call them out. For those of us who were at the sessions yesterday, I began to teach about the mysteries of the kingdom. And I did share with us that dominion in this kingdom, please listen carefully, is the resultant effect of our comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom. A mystery is a body of information, a body of truth that is privy to a group of people. And the Bible says in Matthew chapter 10 and verse 11, Jesus is teaching and he says, It has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. These are the secrets that empower the saints to walk in victory. They are called mysteries. It's a body of light, a body of spiritual information that empowers the saints to represent the government of the Christ in experience. Hallelujah. There is a dimension of spiritual knowledge that is responsible for financial prosperity, responsible for favor, responsible for restoration, responsible for influence. And this conference has sought to expose us to the various dimensions of the ways of God. Listen, you are growing spiritually to the degree to which, number one, you conform to the image and the character of the Christ in experience. This is the first biblical index to measure spiritual growth. So I know that I'm growing spiritually to the degree to which I conform to the image and the character of the Christ. Paul said, my little children of whom I travail, 
hold the person that gets up and begins to run i just saw it in the spirit is the anointing it's not ordinary so just hold them so they don't injure themselves i just saw in the spirit the power of god comes upon someone and he begins to run it's, it's a prophetic step to show that there is acceleration coming to that person's life now listen please let's have some time to teach before i begin to minister so spiritual growth never forget this the first biblical index is our conformity in experience to the image and the character of the christ he says my little children of whom i travail until christ be formed in you the second biblical index for measuring spiritual growth is your depth of comprehending the ways the mysteries of the kingdom so that you stop shadow boxing you come to a point of understanding you know what spiritual law is responsible for the results you seek you do not randomly apply truth in hope that one of them will work you know the allocation that the blood of jesus is for you know the allocation that the name of jesus you know what result what does your seed do when you sow what does your confession do when you speak this is spiritual maturity And I began to explore yesterday the mysteries of the kingdom. I shared with you a number of them, the laws of dominion, the laws that the saints reign by. Number one, I established the mystery of priesthood or prayer. The first key that we examined yesterday was the ministry of prayer. Luke 18 and verse 1. I'm doing a recap for those of you who are just coming today. The Bible says that he speak a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 17 says, pray without ceasing. It doesn't mean pray from morning till night. It means be consistent. Hallelujah. Are we together? Yes. And then the second dimension, I shared with us another law. It's the realm of your glory. It's the realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. Ta da da. Ta da da. Ta da da. Ta da da. The spirit of prophecy is coming on two people. The spirit of prophecy is a grace that my father is releasing. This is that. The book of Acts says, this is that. Halis Calibra Hasadadia. That you will speak for the mysteries of the kingdom. Now please listen. I shared with you the second spiritual mystery. The ministry of men. And now I want to share with you one more very briefly to cap up this session and this conference. These are the keys that empower the saints to represent the purposes of the Christ in experience. I'm praying that among the many things that happens to you in this conference is a fresh hunger for the things of God. Listen, 
that you will know and understand afresh that Christianity is not a religion it's not an advocacy to be loyal to a deity somewhere it's an experience that is provable the tangibility the substance of God can be demonstrated here and now are we blessed now I want to share with you the mystery that controls the anointing of the Holy Spirit I want to touch a bit on the anointing because this is one of the secret behind the rising of the saints listen the faith life is such that you you do not just rise by intention alone it takes more than a sincere heart to rise and transit into dimensions that will reveal the glory of god through your life to a generation it takes more than a sincere heart it takes more than a desire to serve god you must be empowered now watch this jesus is with the apostles and he took time to mentor them for three and a half years are we together now and then jesus is preparing to start his passion the event that leads to his death his burial and his resurrection and then he begins to talk to them about this strange personality they had seen him walk upon the earth they saw the signs the wonders the invincibility of this person then he began to introduce them he said i have many things to tell you jesus is speaking but ye cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth is come when he comes he will guide you into all truth he says that he will reveal to you the things that pertain unto the father he said i will not leave you comfortless jesus is speaking to them he said tarry ye in jerusalem in other words he was saying gentlemen i appreciate your time you have been faithful mentees but it takes more than information to turn your world around tarry until you are endued with power from on high listen hear me london hear me believers it takes more than a good heart to transform your world it takes more than good intention believe it or not we are immersed in a world that is wicked and satanic in nature it will take the empowerment of the spirit for you to rise to that dimension where your life vetoes your background vetoes your limitations and now begins to represent the purposes of God Psalm 92 and verse 10 Psalm 92 and verse 10 if it's projected please read it with understanding ready read but my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a wild ox or a unicorn it says and i shall be anointed with fresh oil please sit down let me explain to you what the anointing is the anointing is not oil in a bottle no the anointing is not even a handkerchief the anointing is not about falling down and standing up the anointing is God's ability the anointing is an authorization listen to me the anointing legitimizes your dominion it is an authorization to represent the purposes of God to be anointed means to be ordained To have a throne that backs and sponsors your relevance and your exploits to be anointed is not just to have dots of oil you can have oil on your head and yet you are not anointed oil does not anoint oil anoints because someone anointed the oil now listen very carefully so we understand that in this kingdom we cannot rise beyond certain dimensions if we are ordinary 
science can go so far and we appreciate how far it's taken us sociology can go so far and we appreciate the intelligence of sociology but listen the days and the times that we live in will require men and women who are not just learned men who are full of the power and the grace of god because the arsenals of darkness that continue to be released to sabotage the purposes of god will require men and women of fire and power and grace not just nominal people nominal christians hoping that things will work well you will need a dimension of grace and power hear me Paul was teaching the church in Ephesus and he says that it be revealed to principalities and powers by the church, the ecclesia, the manifold, multi-dimensional wisdom of God. Hallelujah. And so the anointing is God's authorization to represent him. The anointing is God's ability upon a man or a vessel to produce his dimension of results. It is only marvelous when it is the Lord's doing. When a man produces results that is higher than that of men, it is proof that he has outsourced an ability that is not human. Are we together? It is normal to intelligently apply for a job but when jobs look for you that's not normal it, it then it then tells you that there, there is an ability upon you are we blessed now please listen very carefully many people pastor desire the anointing respectfully speaking I know that there are men and women of God in this place, veterans of the gospel, and I salute you for standing to lift up the banner of righteousness over London and by extension Europe. But listen to me. Let me tell you this. Most people talk about the anointing. Most people write books about the anointing. Most people desire to be anointed. You know, when people meet me, Pastor, one of the first things they want to find out is the anointing. What is the secret of the power, the grace of God upon your life? and i i want to share with you a secret tonight that i pray in the name of jesus that you will value you see talking about the anointing does not bring the anointing wishing for the anointing as important as that is does not bring the anointing i will share with you the secret Proverbs 23 and verse 26 because we have to be anointed there is a move of God that is coming over London believe me I'm standing to say it in the open and I'm standing to prophesy you see let me tell you this an apostolic spirit is mandated to capture that which God intends to do over a generation and over a dispensation that through the sacrifice of alignment you understand the speakings of the spirit per season and then you communicate the same to the people so that they will run that read it and I'm saying it London hear me in the name of Jesus the heritage of fathers and patriarchs that took the gospel from this region down to Africa we pray may those graves be open may those mandates come out I speak to the head of London I speak to the head of Europe the blood of Smith Wigglesworth men and women champions of the gospel in the name of Jesus may those mantles find people afresh find young men find young women let there be a rebirth of the apostolic a rebirth of the prophetic a rebirth of the evangelistic a rebirth of the pastoral a rebirth in the name of Jesus I speak over the climate of London hear the word of the Lord I speak to the bowels of the earth that the sacrifices of men and women heroes of the gospel some die 
spoke and left prophetic words in this season i stand by the privilege of the grace that is given me over a generation and i speak london hear me europe hear me a move of the spirit is coming a move of signs and wonders like never before in addition to what god is already doing multiplied dimensions of grace of power Please sit down. Proverbs 23, 26. We have to be fast. Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 26. Please someone read it. If you can find it ready read my son uh-huh give me hold on the first law is not give me your offering it's not give me your songs it's not give me your fasting it's not give me your worship it's not even give me your Bible study my son if you want me to use you if you want to stand and become a voice that speaks my purposes listen to me the non-negotiable condition unattractive but powerful is that you must give me your heart you've heard me say it and let me repeat it for the first time in london the price for all of God is all of you the price for all of God is not your intellect that's too small for all of him the price for all of God is not your talent the price for all of God is not even your education as important as it is the price for all of God is not your money the price for all of God is all of you where he no longer becomes like a house help or an errand boy that goes around to bring you prosperity that goes around to bring you healing he is more than that they don't know what you mean to me they don't know what you mean to me listen i started my walk with god sincerely not desiring to be a preacher it was never my desire to be famous uh, my background didn't even allow for the possibility of that kind of lust I came from a very converse, con conservative background. Please listen very carefully. But I got to a point in my walk with God, I became tired of religion. I became tired of church. Listen, I saw the sick go back sick. I saw the oppressed go back oppressed. Now, this is not an advocacy to fight preachers. Please understand what I teach you. This is not an advocacy to resent. I, I appreciate the labor of the fathers and men and women who have gone before us. They did their best with the grace and the understanding available for them. I said, this is not. No, it can't be. The more I read the Bible, the more I found out preachers didn't know God. I said, something is wrong. Listen. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 1 says, Through desire, a man, having separated himself, seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. I 
the hunger i didn't know it was the anointing for a generation that was seeking entrance into my life i became restless i didn't want to be around people most of the time what are you doing to me oh god i remember the first time i took god's generals it was as though i was reading about my relatives i said this is it they are not the only ones there were many other generals in africa and many other people who never had we salute robert Laerden for the best that he could do but there had been many other moves that didn't have the opportunity to be captured in history however the hunger continued to grow be careful when nothing quenches your hunger is proof that god is the one who put it there when food and relationships and a job and money and promotion does not seem to quench that hunger don't try to kill it it's proof he's he god lures men into deeper dimensions by planting a hunger that seems not to have an explanation why am i waking up in the middle of the night i can't sleep i just seek his presence i don't even know why the sleep does not come why is it that i don't want to find myself in the midst of people again what is this dear i continue to cry i don't know why why are you crying i don't know listen it's not always a psychological problem it's the luring of the spirit is the mantle for a generation he's calling you is someone listening to me please settle down and so I got to a point where I began to seek him listen pastor days became weeks weeks became months months became a few years i got to a point where i knew if i did not find him i would die listen i was not looking for fame i didn't want a generation to know joshua selman no it still has never been my agenda are we blessed and one night one night I'm lying down flat and here he comes into my room his majesty exalted high above the worship it's not a special number for me of the people of the earth I see the Lord I see the Lord for my eyes have seen the king the lamb upon the throne he reigns forever let me tell you what i saw the train of his robe fills the temple a cloud of heavenly worshipers surrounding your throne and we join with them now crying holy holy is the lamb the lamb of god listen pastor until that time i had a vision and in that vision i was standing somewhere I'm, I'm sharing my story for a reason you, you understand yes just help those under the anointing and it was as though I ran away from a group of people who were to come and hurt me and then the window was opened and suddenly I saw a generation a whole generation crying and they were saying no food and no water and I was looking at them from an altitude and I said who is the cause and they pointed at me and I said no I, I wouldn't do that I'm, 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 I mean my name means the way to love why should I do that and they pointed you are the reason why we have no food and no water and then 
I promised them that I was coming to set them free but I was afraid it looked as though there were certain people waiting for me and I made up my mind if I perish let me perish but I will not allow this generation die and as soon as I opened the door here was this old man giant mighty he held my hand that was the Holy Spirit and he said let's go I will go with you listen And that was when I knew that the grace that he put upon my life was not just for a church. It was more than a ministry. It was for a generation. That's why when you listen to the teachings, you don't even know what happens to you. It is the grace for a generation. It is deep calling unto deep. Please understand this. Now, Jesus appears to me, pastor. I'm amazed because he's not talking yet I'm understanding what he's saying that was when I learned in the realm of the spirit that you do not have to talk to speak that light is a language the entrance of thy word he says give it light listen to me he stretched forth his right hand towards me you know many people say they have seen Jesus now I do not have the authority to you know I don't castigate the body I love the body I'm sent to the body but I can tell you many encounters that people say they met Jesus is not true if you meet Jesus the Jesus I met it would take the grace of God for you to be normal again believe me when I tell you that he stretched his hands towards me and a light it's like taking the sun and putting it inside an ant. How I did not die is a question I will ask him when we meet again. Wow. What was this light for? Listen. As he stretched his hands towards me, the experience was over and he left. It would take many years for me to understand what that encounter was for. I opened the Bible and there was a straight line from Genesis to Revelation. I said, what is this? I began to see things that I never studied. The entrance of thy word giveth light. In one other encounter, the Lord speaks to me under that atmosphere. He says, my son, from today, I give you my presence as a gift. This is what he told me my eyes is open then to this vision and i'm seeing this angel standing and he said this angel will walk with you he is called the angel of the lord's presence this is what is responsible for some of these supernatural manifestations you see i'm taking our time to explain this because god is mighty but he can be explained are we together now And then in another encounter, it was complete darkness. The doors, the rooms, the street was empty. And I saw sick people, all kinds of people. And they were crying and calling. And then a voice spoke to me to go and heal and deliver them. Now listen, the Lord spoke to me and told me, Pastor, that everywhere, city, nation, region that he would allow me to go to, the light that came from Jesus to me that there must be someone in that nation that that light is an instruction I have never disobeyed I need to understand I need to explain to you this person talking to you so that you will understand some of the things happening and everywhere I have traveled to there must be someone in that room who is hungry and desperate enough that the light that came from his majesty to this earthen vessel who has been most favored by him that it extends to a generation and this night please believe me some of you for your families some of you for your ministry that that light will visit you pastor your wife i'm prophesying to you ma'am 
you are stepping into a level in the spirit you're one of these people i'm speaking about there is a grace for influence i'm stretching my hands to you in the name of jesus i shift you by the spirit of grace i prophesy in the open and i declare upon you step into a new phase a new dimension in the spirit please sit down listen so when you hear about joshua selman london europe there is nothing special about this man in myself it is an honor and a privilege that he is given to be one of those who will hold the button that our fathers held though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever holy is the lord holy listen i have an assignment tonight yes i will pray for the sick yes we will trust god to deliver the oppressed but more than that like an olympic light and an olympic fire that never dies i brought something from africa back to europe what the fathers brought to africa our fathers held on to this olympic light this fire and by his grace he's granted us the opportunity to bring it back the fire that saves that heals that delivers that authentic christianity the pursuit of his majesty more than things so i'm trusting that somewhere in this service before we are done that fire will move from left from left to right to right from top from top to bottom to bottom and move all over all over is an ignition is an ignition hallelujah please sit down for five minutes and then we pray please listen to me hear me london there is a price for the anointing there is a price for the glory of god hear me please listen the price is more than fasting the price is more than prayer the price is more than bible study the price is more than church attendance as important as that is the price for life is death this may be an uncomfortable teaching but if it is god you want to host only dead men can carry god the door that leads to life is called death the door that leads to the throne is called the cross you must die to live i have been crucified with christ he says nevertheless i live yet not i but christ that lives in me and the life that i live in the flesh that is the body i live by the faith of the son of god now please sit down let me interpret what is happening to you right now because the bible says romans chapter 8 from verse 18 it says i reckon i reckon that the sufferings of this present time the constraints lord 
listen there are many of you the dealing of God in your life is seeking for interpretation because if you do not know you will think he's the devil when you want to move forward others are moving God says you stay back and you don't know why Lord what are you up to with my life why can't I live a normal life it's a sign of an anointing looking for you it's a sign of a grace looking for you others are sleeping and his majesty wakes you while they are sleeping he's saying pray lord allow me i want to live a normal life and then he says not so for the grace for a generation hear me he will give you instructions that may not make sense take now thy son thy only son whom thou lovest if you want to be Abraham then you must be willing to give up Isaac only those who give up Isaac are called Abraham not those who give birth to Isaac those who can give away Isaac listen to me there is a message that our generation is trying to forget and respectfully I stand and lend my voice with many across the globe that are bringing this voice back not everything is free there is a price for the glory of God there is a real price for authentic spiritual power it will cost you your convenience it will cost you your ego it will cost you your reputation when you want to stand tall you must learn to go down the secret of standing is kneeling the secret to run is to stay the, the key to your speed in life is your staying power the more you stay in his presence the more you run this is the message that a generation is trying to forget listen to me it is true that the same lord is rich unto all god loves everybody but he does not trust everybody it takes a track record in the spirit you can have visions of yourself moving in power and grace whether in business in ministry corporate life and it never manifests because there is a real price oh dear generation hear me there is a real price the price of prayer the price of surrender the price of death where what you want is him not you not your ambition listen the lord told me something years ago he said son if you can see me there is nothing i will not give you and he meant it i stand before the god of heaven in the presence of your pastor in the presence of god's people london europe i have no business building an agenda or an empire for myself no my agenda is not fame i'm not interested in being a celebrity all i want is to be that donkey that his majesty can ride upon And I told him I said Lord if you will ever give me the opportunity to represent your purposes to a generation I am honored I am a man I am not perfect but I am broken listen to me I share with you this is not acting I'm sharing my heart with you if it is God you want to host it will cost you your ego it will cost you your ambition Only those who can give him all can carry all of him. You want to tell the sick be healed and they are healed? It takes more than desire. It takes more than kneeling down for a man of God to lay hands on you. No. There are certain wells you must dig by yourself. It is a track record. Are we together? And so, I learned by experience that if you seek him and you don't find him is because you did not seek him with all your heart London 
I appreciate your passion for the things of God otherwise you would not be here I appreciate your honor for me and your precious pastor I thank you for all that you have done I thank you for your love and everything but you have celebrated Joshua Selman thank God for what he's done in my life but let me tell you I introduce to you afresh his majesty I introduce to you afresh the God who is bigger than us all I introduce to you afresh the maker of this man that you so admire listen if all you see is me you have not seen well you must see him my agenda is not to come and build fans no more than that sincerely he knows that you're all I want you're all I've ever needed you're all I want Help me know you are near hey, You're all I want More than fame, more than the reputation You're all I've ever needed You're all I want Help me know you are near. Hear me? I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. He's calling you to a place of fresh hunger. This is my message tonight. His power is available, but His power will require a depth of hunger. And if I can find someone that is desperate enough tonight to say, Lord, I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart that I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart sing lord i will bow lord i will bow to you to no other god but you lord this is my desire i sincerely seek to see the christ revealed and the Christ glorified like John he says that I may decrease it's not self-condemnation is is an attempt to show how much he seeks to see his majesty revealed hear me tonight he's calling you to give up your agenda does not mean to forget about it it means to dethrone it until Christ becomes Lord of it. He's not asking you to not seek prosperity. Don't get me wrong. No. I teach the whole counsel of God. He wants you to prosper. He wants you to increase. He wants you to go forward. You call it a shift. However, he wants to be Lord of all. His jealousy does not allow him to share any space with any other thing. so I made up my mind and I told him Lord if you will give me anything at all that will take your place let it never come I meant it I still mean it any platform any anointing that you will ever give me that will make me shift the attention of a generation from you to me may it never come 
it is my pledge to see his glory revealed I'm not the only one he has called it is a generation it is an honor he's given and we stand faithful to that which he has given but hear me London I believe that the men who will restore the ordinances of God are in this building tonight I believe that the men and the women who will bring back that fire like the days of Gideon like the days of Samson like the days of Elijah the call tonight is the call of death I'm going to give you two prayer points and I want you to pray sincerely because I'm about to speak over your life I want you to find a corner and cry your heart Lord everything I have exalted above you I dethrone it tonight be the center of my life someone is praying someone is crying to God someone is crying All I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. All I want pray, is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. Fill my life till all they see it is you, Lord. Glorify your name. Fill my life till all they see it is you, Lord. Glorify all I want. For you to be glorified, for you to be lifted, all I want is for you, for you to be glorified. Be lifted high, be lifted high. For your glory be lifted high, be lifted high, ah, be lifted high. For your glory be lifted high, we lift you high, we lift you high. Pray, Lord, take everything. I surrender everything. Someone is praying. I surrender to you. Everything I give to you. I'm withholding nothing Withholding nothing I'm withholding nothing Two more minutes Withholding nothing Give myself away Give myself away So you me, I keep my heart away. Keep my heart away, so you can use me.
Hallelujah. The last prayer point for tonight. You are going to pray. Father, the grace and the unction that must come upon my life and turn me into another man and shift me to a, a next dimension of prosperity. There is a mighty anointing happening to pastor's wife. There is a mighty, this, this, this conference tonight was designed by God's counsel. You see, God is touching people, but I see an unusual impartation. Fill me up, fill me up, fill me up, till I overflow. I want to run over, want to run over. Fill me up, fill me up, till I overflow. I want to run over. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up. It's my prayer, Lord. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Feel me up. Feel me up, God. And we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you i'm speaking to someone god is about to shift you i'm standing in this apostolic office by the privilege of god's grace it's time to move you into a dimension in the spirit it's in you lord it's in you, Lord. We know. I'm about to pray. Listen. Hallelujah. Pastor, sir. With all due respect, the Lord is giving me a prophetic word. Hear what the Lord is saying. The Lord is speaking three things. Number one, the Lord is saying he's multiplying the influence of Dr. Shola all over London. Yes, this is what God is saying. That he's giving you grace for kings. Grace for kings. You will raise kings. This is what the Spirit of God is telling me. And the Lord is telling me again that he's multiplying your honor. For the Lord is saying, I have seen your faithfulness, even in the midst of fire. This is what the Spirit of God is saying. And that a thousand cubits has been measured for you. And it's time to go deeper. He will multiply your influence. I'm seeing God raise strange people to stand by you financially. Strange people, believe me, to stand by you and lift up the ministry that the liberty church will become not just a place of transformation but a place of strength revival it will happen by the power of the spirit this grace you see tonight i will not go back with it it will rest with this church Believe me. I want to pray. Please understand that this is not pride. It is the privilege of God's grace to carry this mantle for a generation. I'm not the only one. 
There are many scattered across Europe, Africa, and across. You have only met one of them. But tonight, if you will believe the words that I release upon you, hear me, London. I did not call myself. The grace you honor is the grace that comes upon you. I'm standing in my office and I'm declaring right now. Anyone called in ministry here, hear me. I'm about to extend my hand and let a strange grace for encounters and hunger at the count of three. Father, I pray all over London and everyone who is following online, America, Europe, Africa, Asia, in the name of Jesus at the count of three, let there be that impartation, a call, a call. I open up the well, spring up the wells. One, get ready. Two. Three, take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that anointing now. In the name of Jesus, I shift you by prophecy a new dimension in ministry. The healing anointing is coming on people right now. Take that grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The grace for intercessors. This is what God is showing me. God is birthing intercessory ministries here tonight. I'm seeing many women in the order of Deborah. Where are they? London. I awaken Deborah's. I blow the shofar. I sound the alarm. In the name of Jesus, the borders arise. The borders arise. Women with the strength of nations. I call for warriors. In the mighty name of Jesus, who will stand at the gate like the wise men of Shiloh. I decree and declare that grace falls upon you. That grace falls upon you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is David? David. I'm hearing a name David. You are holding the picture of someone called David. Who is that? Is a picture. David. Is there someone like that? You came with a photo. Look at this. Come. What's his name? David. David. Son? Yes. He's a home. This boy is going to be a mighty man of God. Mighty. Mighty. Awesome God. How great our Lord. You alone. Mighty are your miracles. Standing on of your home Lord we bow and worship hallelujah I release grace upon that boy Jonathan who is Jonathan Jonathan where are you you're a man of God are you Jonathan come your life is about to change come sir in this ministry are you part of this ministry now i'm going to pray for you but you will go and pastor shola will lay hands there is a grace on his life please forget about whether you know him or not just just believe what i'm telling you hold my hand sir shout jesus as loud as you can grace i shift you in the spirit you step into a new dimension pastor sir as pastor lays hands on you there is an impartation of grace that is coming upon you hallelujah now hear me hear me there are people who are called into the prophetic ministry 
but there has been no one to open your heavens in that regard in the name of Jesus I'm stretching my hands now from the front to the back the balcony everywhere I stand by the spirit Lord anyone who is called to speak the purposes of God to the nations the seeing eyes and the hearing ear at the count of three that grace falls on you one two three take the prophetic take the prophetic strange dreams visions operations of the spirit in the name of Jesus hallelujah listen I want to pray our time is up but I will pray quickly before I pray for the sick I want to release the healing anointing you see we cannot lose the healing ministry the ministry of signs and wonders must be preserved he said except ye see miraculous signs and wonders you will not believe we live in an unbelieving generation that must see the signs in addition to the truth of God's word I am not ashamed of the gospel he says for it is the power of God I believe that there are people here who will carry that grace before I pray for the sick I want to release that grace now it has nothing to do with gender it has nothing to do with being a man of God it has everything to do with hunger father at the count of three everywhere within this auditorium Lord there are people who have fasted and prayed for the grace genuine grace for the ministry of signs and wonders I stretch my hands at the count of three like the dew of Hammon let it fall one parus kadasiata two get ready here it comes like a whirlwind three take that grace help them please help them my god take that grace take that grace from the front to the back take that grace up the balcony take that grace may that grace find you i shift you by the spirit new dimensions in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now come it's over new level you are trusting god for a miracle very quickly lay your hands lay your hands right there by the way i know that i have a few minutes left just a few minutes i'll do my best to wrap up but before i wrap up we will agree as a church and speak over the coronavirus we thank God for what the government of nations are doing but the church is the authorized entity to allow or disallow and we're going to take our place tonight and send that virus back from where it came from but I want to pray for the sick now this is our final session I know that many of you came trusting God for healing listen miracles are real miracles are real they are a manifestation of the mercy and the love of God no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me no wall you will coming after me all right lay your hands there now thank you Jesus just lay your hands there I want to pray for you now I believe in miracles you don't have to come out right where you are as we worship in your presence there is healing the Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing Jesus I believe Jesus God is touching people there is healing in your name now agree with me in the name of Jesus come on London in the name of Jesus 
in the name of Jesus I command every devil of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I curse you be gone in the name of Jesus every spirit of infirmity by the power that raised Christ help them please I command be gone now be set free in the name of Jesus now I declare over the sick be healed in the name of Jesus every blood disease be healed in the name of Jesus blind eyes open in the name of Jesus those who are on crutches or on a wheelchair be healed now in the name of Jesus deaf ears partial total deafness be healed now ulcers of all sorts be healed in the name of Jesus heart palpitations be healed in the name of Jesus every cardiovascular disease be healed from it in the name of Jesus every bone condition in the name of Jesus be healed now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I declare healing for you now now I apologize in advance we may not have the time to take testimonies but you can always register your testimony I believe that there might be an email or or you can meet one of the officials and just let them know that this is what has happened to me there will be so many testimonies from this conference <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah two more assignments and I'm done listen please listen very carefully prophecy is very powerful it not only reveals it can create the more superior dimension of the prophetic is not the revelatory dimension I demonstrated this yesterday the more superior dimension of the prophetic is the grace that makes us what has no business happening to happen by this time tomorrow he was not revealing what would happen he made it happen the Lord wants to make things happen in our lives now and he said son of man can these bones live again and the prophet said only thou knowest listen the prophetic is powerful now I I know and I agree that it has been insulted here and there and there has been exaggerations and people have handled the prophetic without character and people have done a lot of things and even dabbled into all kinds of activities of divination I know the church is like a patient however Christ is still in the midst of her but please do not make the mistake of believing that just because there are perversions here and there every manifestation of the prophetic is ungodly you are wrong if you think so there are people who have paid the price and by the privilege of the election of grace they've been vested with the ability to create possibilities over the lives of others can I pray for you I stand as one who is sent by the privilege of God's grace in agreement with the angel over this house the man that God has set and so honored yet again tonight and in the name of Jesus I cry that my father who is my maker and the maker of men that he would hearken to every word now I decree over this auditorium London hear me I stand in the name of Jesus every closed door over your life over your destiny I speak a father be open a father be open be open be open be open financial doors open spiritual doors be open 
their doors be open and shift you by prophecy step into new levels step into new dimension and shift you overnight step into prepared blessing number two the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon listen there are men called destiny helpers they have an assignment they are mandated and authorized to hold your hand and lift you to the next level i prophesy to the north of london the south the east the west everywhere the helpers of your destiny are in three months 90 days by the spirit of prophecy like the ark of god in the house of Obed Edom, i call them show up now destiny help us show up now destiny help us show up now listen once upon a time the bible says elisha was with the sons of the prophet and he said where we meet with you is too straight let us go beyond the jordan and while they were felling the trees the axe head fell and he said alas master for it was borrowed let me prophesy because there are people here under financial pressure and listen i respect the laws of economics but from scripture every time a man was under any kind of pressure it took prophecy to bring them out therefore i speak to your bills i speak to your finances hear the word of the lord in the name of jesus rise to a new level i shift you to a new level please believe it financially in the name of jesus i go for help us i cause debt i cause financial troubles in the name of jesus hallelujah please look at me the psalmist said many a day that rise up against me it says many a day that say where is your help but then he says but thou O lord art a shield for me he says you are my glory help me and the lifter of i pray whatever has brought you down in the name of jesus may the lifter of men lift you tonight may the lifter of men lift you tonight liberty church london rise to a new level hallelujah hallelujah revelation chapter one he said i john was in the spirit on the lord's day and he went to the throne room and then chapter one chapter two chapter three he had revelations but when we get to chapter four he hears a voice even in heaven and it says come up here no matter what level you have gotten to in life there is still space for more therefore i speak to you liberty church london europe in the name of jesus come up here rise to a new level arise shine arise shine arise shine arise shine in the name of jesus listen the donkey of Saul gets missing and for three days they keep looking for that donkey and they cannot find it and then the servant says there is a man of God Samuel let us go to that holy man of God the moment Samuel meets David Saul he said is it not because the Lord had anointed you to be king over Israel and he pronounced three blessings number one he said the donkey that is missing has been back home let me call what has left your life that should not have left relationships 
resources in the name of Jesus everything that has left your life by the power of prophecy it returns back to you tonight it returns back to you tonight in the name of Jesus hallelujah number two he told him he said as you go back you will see three men each holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and give to you somebody say favor i decree and declare over your life someone must love you enough to invest in your success this season receive favor obtain grace and favor Esther 2 verse 15 I speak it over your life carry that anointing favor in the morning favor in the afternoon favor in the evening in the name of Jesus number three he said you will come to the garrison of the Philistines and there the hand of the Lord will come upon you and when you read in the later verses they said is Saul also one of the prophets I want to speak over your life London as we wrap up this conference every dimension you have desired spiritually financially in the name of Jesus I agree with your pastor by the power that raised Christ from the dead receive that grace now help them please receive that grace now hallelujah let me give you two instructions number one please ensure that the fire on your altar never goes down some of you will need to go back home and husband wife you need to talk about it we must come up with a program for our spiritual development it is no longer going to be haphazard what do we do in the morning what do we do in the night some of you need to go back and come up with an intentional program for your spiritual growth you're not going to open the bible at random and just read anything no make up your mind to know the lord make up your mind to invest in your spirit make up your mind to buy books your pastor has got some books they are rich materials you can get it listen to it he says and that from a child thou hast known the holy scripture that is able to make you wise unto salvation number two make up your mind that you're going to be connected as much as possible to what God is doing in and through this ministry you see let me tell you and and I believe this and this is not I've, I've not even spoken with pastor I believe listen to me I believe that God sends people to ministries and connects them there are we together now it is sometimes you can choose based on what you want I like this man but there is the connection of destiny you will need to locate yourself with the grace the grace that is responsible for your lifting when God called Samuel he used the voice of Eli he did not use an echo they that be planted in the house of God they shall flourish in the courts of our God even in old age the Bible says they will be fat and flourishing hallelujah praise the Lord our time is gone I've been instructed that I lead us to take our offering have we taken our offering let me bring out mine can you bring out your offering let me pray and speak over it remember that these things are done with understanding and with revelation please very quickly our time is up and then just the final word and we're done let me just pray because our time is done please bring out your offering I want to speak over it in the name of Jesus the son of the living God our father who art in heaven hallowed be your name our father 
hear us from heaven forgive our sins now two things very quickly if, if you need an, an offering envelope just just wave your hands and there's someone okay please help them they're officials please keep it keep it lifted keep it lifted and someone will reach you very quickly with an envelope now listen while this is happening i want to make an altar call spare me one minute we're doing all this at the same time it is important that we do this i want you to know that the foundation of the faith life is coming to jesus with brokenness to receive his life the bible says for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life there are two categories of people here tonight the first category is saying apostle he's saying apostle i really want to make it right with jesus all through the days of this conference and now tonight i do not want to wrap up this conference and go back the same there are others who are saying apostle i found myself loving the lord but for some reason my life has gone haywire and i need a restoration those two categories wherever you are i want you to take the bold step very quickly please come stand before me right now celebrate them as they come someone is running to jesus are you celebrating salvation please stand don't kneel because of space i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turn keep coming celebrate them as they come I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back I salute and I celebrate please look at me just just a moment oh my god that adorable girl she's coming for the altar call too come Oh, I love this lady. Celebrate her. Come, come, darling. What's her name? Now, now listen to me. I really love children. And you love me? I love you too. Thank you. Hallelujah. I pray. Where's the mom? Mom, where are you? Please take care of this girl. She's a gift. Don't cry. I know. The Bible says, train up a child in the way he should go. Look at this adorable child. Loving Jesus. Serving Jesus. Only God can tell what she will become. I, I, just, I just brought her to just love on her. And then to make it a lesson. Don't serve Jesus alone. As for me and my house. I pray for you, my dear. You will serve Jesus. You will serve the God of your parents. And I have a little gift for you. Do you mind? This is for you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, thank you. I celebrate every one of you. A card will be given. Am I right? Okay. Let me just have one. Okay. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development.
Lord, grant me the discipline 